A drunk movie makeup artist clawed a cop's face with her nails as he and two other officers defended her from a violent assault. Tasman Kemp, 27, lashed out when her partner was arrested for shoving her into a shop window during an argument on a night out. Kemp, who works as a makeup and special effects artist for films, clawed one officer's face, slapped another and tried to headbutt the third. The three cops went to help Kemp after they saw her being attacked by her partner in Worcester City Center at 11.50 p.m. on February 5. Kemp turned on the two female officers and one male officer. Kemp was handed a 12-month community order, ordered to do 120 hours of unpaid work, image, Worcester News, SWNS. She admitted three assaults on emergency workers, image, Worcester News, SWNS. She was arrested and admitted to three assaults on emergency workers. Kemp was handed a 12-month community order, ordered to do 120 hours of unpaid work and given an electronic tag and a 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew. She was also ordered to pay the officers a total of £300 in compensation, told to pay £185 in court costs and a £95 victim surcharge. Kemp was also ordered to pay the officers a total of £300 in compensation, told to pay £185 in court costs and a £95 victim surcharge, image, Alamy stock. Don't miss. Plain passenger says head pay extra to not sit next to woman with odd ritual. Ukraine-Russia war live. Chernobyl hit by sabotage as second nuclear plant under threat. Urgent hunt for kidnapped woman seen being dragged into BMW by mystery men. Mom of two who ran drug empire from family home spared jail because of her toxic ex. Prosecutor Eleanor Pert said the cops were dealing with a separate incident when they saw the argument between Kemp and her partner. She said, they witnessed him pushing her against a shop window. The man was heard by an officer to say, I am going to punch you in a minute. Police had concern for the defendant's welfare and PC Ryan took hold of the man. Sign up for our daily newsletter to keep up to date with all the essential information at www.mirror.co.uk slash email. This when the defendant started screaming at officers to get off him. She was very irate. The officer found this irrational as he was protecting her from this man. Without warning the defendant hit out with her right hand purposefully to claw at his face, causing him instant pain. She had drawn blood which was dripping down onto his uniform. Most read. Britain warns Putin of war with NATO if Russian soldiers enter its territory. Pub so popular it has four-year waiting list for Sunday roasts and stops taking new bookings. Ukraine-Russia war live. Chernobyl hit by sabotage as second nuclear plant under threat. Ms. Pert said another officer was trying to control the defendant when Kemp slapped her across the left-hand side of her face, causing pain and sensitivity to her teeth but no injury. While being searched, Kemp launched forward with an extremely forceful headbutting movement at a third officer who dodged to avoid being hit. The prosecutor said, she, the officer, said it would have caused significant injury if it had connected. The court heard Kemp had previous convictions including for common assault from August last year. Belinda Aris, defending, said Kemp rarely went out because she had two children, was with her partner at the time and is still with her partner. She said, they had a fairly pleasant evening together and there was a very stupid argument between them that got out of hand and somebody asked police to go in. She did not feel police assistance was required. She realizes, from the outside looking in, she did need police assistance. She was very surprised when her partner was arrested. He was carried off. She simply just lost her head. Too much drink had caused her judgment to fail and lash out at the first officer, causing scratches to the face. Mrs. Aris added, she is extremely sorry. She does have previous convictions, the majority of when she was a youth. Read more. Mum of two who ran drug empire from family home spared jail because of her toxic ex. Read more. Tributes to loving and caring teen stabbed to death in town center.